We turn now to a serious story, teen suicide. The numbers have been increasing for the past 10 years and local school districts have been on the front lines trying to break the cycle. Mentor is one of them. Lindsay Buckingham sat down with school leaders to see what they're doing. The headlines were everywhere. Lawsuits against Mentor Public Schools after a string of student suicides between 2005 and 2008. Some of the accusations were bullying. Some of the cases since dismissed. But the pain of losing kids never goes away. Anytime a student, there's a suicide, certainly it affects us all very deeply. Our goal is to, you know, try to prevent every single one from happening. Superintendent Bill Porter says for years now, mentor proactive about prevention, working in programs to help staff and students recognize when there's a serious problem. One thing that's changed simply is involvement with NAMI, the National Alliance Mental Illness. Uh, NAMI has been a great partner with us. A significant addition is a 24-7 software filtering program. That means if a student types in a concerning word related to suicide or violence on the school's network... Our administrators will get notified. Our administrators can involve themselves immediately with our guidance counselors. If it's off hours, we can involve the police to do welfare checks at the home. Still, the bullying claims of the past, top of mind today. And we want students to make sure that they can speak up for themselves if, if they're feeling, you know, a certain way. Also, that they can recognize, you know, the red flag signs in others as well. It's about changing a culture that discouraged kids from speaking up. To decide how we want to live our lives. Trauma specialist Don Ostrowski and her team from Crossroads are staffed full-time in mentor schools. It's great to have peers that you feel close to and comfortable with talking um, about certain serious topics. But I think what's even more important is it taking that weight off of their shoulders and, and telling a trusted adult or a trained professional. But that can be hard to do if you're the one hurting people. We definitely have to look out for the victims, but we also have to recognize that a lot of times those perpetrators are, are victims as well. That kind of outlook is crucial for educators to break the cycle. But the root of the problem is not these kids need to be punished. The root of the problem is there's something these kids are lacking. Changes take time. But, you know, being able to see that progress over the last few years is pretty hopeful. But Porter says his district will continue this important work, especially if it means saving someone's life. You know, we think is making a difference, but that doesn't prevent us. Certainly, if there's more that we can figure out that we can do, we're certainly willing to do that. Making students know that they have somewhere to go. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News. And if you or someone you know needs help, call the toll-free suicide prevention hotline at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-TALK for more information about Crossroads. And we've got links posted at WKYC.com.